Thank you for watching. Uh, it is Superhero Day at Theater Camp tomorrow, and Carly and her friends came up with an idea to be superheroes, S-O-U-P-E-R, heroes, uh, with a cape. And so the first thing that we're going to do is make her t-shirt costume. And what we've done is taken two t-shirts, sewn them together, and uh, right here, just a simple stitch inside out, sew them together so it's a full tube, looks like a soup can. Uh, and then I went online and the fonts for Campbell Soup are pretty hard to find that are exact, so I uh, actually blew up pictures from the website to put them there. You can either, uh, what we're going to do is use carbon paper um, under the word to trace it onto the t-shirt and then we'll just be hand painting onto the t-shirt. And I'm actually using, I happen to have red paint from painting my front door and white paint from painting my bathroom that we'll be using to fill these out with. Um, but if you prefer to actually make a stencil, you could certainly um, print that out, cut it out onto some cardstock, um, something a little thicker, and then paint in, in the actual stencil. Oh, poor Carly sneezing. So to give you an idea, if you were to cut that out and you wanted to use a stencil instead, you would have something like that. Um, that would be pretty easy if it was on harder stock. Uh, and then this is actually just a gold piece of fabric that we had that we cut into a circle for the emblem. And uh, we're going to get started on this and show you in a little bit uh, how the costume turns out. It's very exciting. So it's a few minutes later now. We're a little further into the project. Carly is actually uh, hot gluing noodles and beans onto an old hat so that she can actually be minestrone. So that'll be uh, part of her fun costume. I wanted to show you that I have, in fact, traced... Um, the Campbell's logo. I did take it off of a picture of a can, so it's curved a little. Uh, you could certainly straighten that out if you wanted to cut some segments apart and make it straight. And then uh, we also used the um, carbon paper down here. Uh, just press hard with a pen through um, to get your, your stencil there, and then you can hand paint if you're comfortable with it, um, or again use hard cardstock to make your stencil, and then you won't, you won't have to worry about it. In this case, the soup is a nice thick font and so I'm actually going to use the paper as a stencil. We just cut it out and cut the little segments out that we wanted um, and so that'll be that'll be ready to go. So we're a little further along and we're going to start painting. I do have several different sizes of paint brushes but since I'm using like wall paint and it's pretty thick I'm going to start with a q-tip to see uh, you know I need a, a pretty thin stroke and I don't want it to bleed. Oh, the other thing is uh, to make sure you put a thick cardboard or plastic under your workspace. And so I've actually used the, a plastic lid from a plastic crate that you, like a storage crate that you would use. And it worked beautifully. It's nice and flat on top and it's about the width of the um, t-shirt. So Carly is finishing her cape, or actually working on her cape, and it'll say superhero. And in the center of the words, it's going to be a giant S made out of lentils and beans, like that would be in minestrone soup. Uh, this is just a piece of like fake leather type plastic that we found at the thrift store, a remnant uh, that we've cut. So the end will actually look like this and the top. And we're just going to put two little um, holes, punch holes out and um, add ties so it can go around her neck. So it'll be her cape. Uh, and so she's having a lot of fun with that. We're using a lot of Q-tips, kind of trial and error. We don't have the perfect uh, brushes for this project, but it is an impromptu project just for uh, Superhero Day at Theater Camp tomorrow. So didn't have a lot of time to, to find everything, but uh, Q-tips are great for cleaning up the mess. And <laughs> she's using stencils, which is great. And we'll see how this goes. I, I may have to uh, replace my floor when we're done, but besides that, we're doing great. You having fun? Yeah. Yeah, this is the best. So I wanted to show you the final product. Uh, it's actually just been a couple of hours of us um, having fun and working on these. Um, we did learn using the carbon paper um, to trace a stencil. The paint doesn't completely cover up. Uh, just to let you know, so if you're using wall paint or random paint that you have around the house, it may be advisable to actually use a stencil instead of the carbon paper. Um, or obviously if you have fabric paint, that's going to be the best option if you have a chance to go to the craft store, which we did not. So we were just using what was around the house. Um, our soup sign here, um, that's actually fabric paint. And that was a gold fabric paint that I had, and it turned out beautifully. So if you have the chance, that would be the best way to go. Um, oh, up here with the white paint, what I'm actually doing at this moment is I'm outlining 
Uh, now that it's white, I'm actually outlining it in black with a black pen to help it stand out a little more. So I have those last four letters done. You can tell it, it really um, makes it makes it more readable, makes it look a little better. Um, so I thought I'd do that as a finishing touch. Obviously, if you had a permanent marker, that would be better. Um, in the state it's in, this is definitely not a washable item, but it's just a fun idea that we had. I uh, wanted to show it to you. Carly's hat turned out beautifully. That's her her bean hat for the minestrone noodles and beans. Um, and then this is her superhero cape, and it's spelled super, S-O-U-P-E-R. Uh, there's an S made out of beans. Um, and so she did a great job with that. And then uh, we also have, we just uh, slit a hole here and tied a uh, ribbon on the back. And then that way she has two ties that go around her neck. She can tie that um, around her and have that on her back for her superhero cape. So this was a fun project for us to do, and um, I'll take a picture of her tomorrow morning and, and post that as well. So thanks so much for watching. Have a beautiful evening.